Oh, <laughs> didn't see you there. God, that is so cheesy. <laughs> Jesus. I feel like the coffee just went straight to my eye. I don't know. How does coffee go to your eye? <laughs> morning. We're struggling to come around this morning. We're on coffee number two. We're trying to get the day going, but it's a slow start, guys. Slow start this morning. Um, I need to brush my hair because it's so knotty. But at least I'm dressed. I mean, I'm half dressed. There's nothing on down here, but I, oh, I'm dressed up here. AKA, I put a t shirt on. It took ages. Um, what, what's planned for today then? We'll go for a walk at some point. Drop off my dad's birthday present Drop and card. Drop off my birthday present and card, yeah. Get and you're not bits. baking today, are you? No. What are you doing instead? I'm making a Spanish omelette. Tortilla de España. Or tortilla de patatas. Spanish Tor omelette for people who Con don't speak Charlie Spanish. Thor. We, we treat so. Yeah. So that would be nice. Just watching Tiger King on Netflix now. It's actually quite fascinating, yeah. So, um... He's a weird guy. <laughs> I was speaking to Claire and her sister Jen last night. Shout out to you guys. Um, and she told me to watch Tiger King, so buzzing about that. Woo 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 woo! There's a party up in here today! Happy Tuesday. Afternoon everyone. So, me and Sam have just got back from the nicest walk ever. We walked for about an hour, just over an hour. A bit over an hour, yeah. And when we were at the commercial, we saw we saw Jodie and Kelly and Gary and everyone, and it was really, really nice. Um, so, really nice to see you, Jodie. And she informed me that I didn't show the end result of my Biscoff blondies, and let me tell you guys, they were stunning. So I think maybe, definitely this week, but maybe tomorrow I'll make them again, and then I'll properly show you guys how how they turned out. But gee, honestly, they were when they were warm as well. They were still a little bit gooey, um, and the biscuit. Oh, it was so nice. I can't even explain. So yeah, we're just back now, um, just chilling out. The sun's there, but we're quite like in the shade, aren't we? We are. Still and got we saw Chester. Yeah, we did see. Happy. We did see Chester. If you want to give Chester his mum and dad's dog. Hey guys, we're just. Um, I ended up having a chat with Johnny, he came round. Uh, we've been to the butchers just at the bottom but of the But don't street. worry folks, we socially isolated sensibly. We did. We I didn't get to have my business. usual hug. <laughs> but we went to the butchers just at the bottom of our street as well to get some meat because we're potentially going to have another barbecue tonight. It's glorious. It's a glorious day. Right, we're in the van going to all day. Bloody hell, I'm getting windswept here, babe. It's lovely. I know, it's glorious, isn't it? Glorious day. <laughs> oh, nice island. <laughs> So, yeah, so uh, finished at Aldi. It was actually quite pleasant because it was dead quiet in there. Um, just got a few little bits, that's all. Bit, got, uh, bits. got me bits. Got, got me bits from shop, yeah. Got all my bits. Got all my bits that I needed. All my bits. All my bits. So we're going to go up to Pound Shop just to have a look for some because uh, Jody said there was some like baking loaf tins in there and I could do with a loaf tin. Um, and it's only a pound. Pound's a pound, you know what I'm saying? Pound's a pound. Pound's a pound, 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 pound. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm in Poundland. Look at me, I'm vlogging in a shop. Can you believe this? What are we on then, babe? Baking stuff. Is this not baking stuff here? Uh, How is that cooking? Looks like cooking. Look, there's got so much, guys. Sam's um, gone into Morrison's to find me a loaf tin because Pound Land didn't have any and Home Bargains also did not have any. So I didn't fancy Morrison's. I'm pretty done with the shops for today, to be quite honest. I don't like the vibe in there. It's just killing my vibe, you know what I'm saying? So um, instead, I've sat in the van and I'm tempted to drive over there and go get him because he's literally parked the furthest away from Morrison's that he could park. Um, and I'm bloody roasting, so I really want some breeze. <laughs> right, we're back home now, uh, and I'm going to show you what we got at Aldi. Now, this is a treat for Sam, because he's not been having a lot of treats recently, and I think he deserves it. Then this absolute beauty. Look at that. Hey, two of them. Two of them. And then I got orange jelly. Can anybody guess what I'm going to make with the orange jelly? Another viral recipe coming soon. Stop poop. Stop poo. <laughs> stop poo, yep, yeah, stop poo. Leeks, butter, a part of myself, cheeky pineapple there, just for them summer vibes. Uh, knock off of them smoothies, that, this one's actually quite nice. A guilty smoothie. Guilty smoothie, because it's instead of innocent smoothie, it should be guilty smoothie, because it's a knockoff. <laughs> uh, toothpaste, coffee, and some compliments. 
Is that everything? That's everything. Oh yeah, I also got Emily, a... Everything that Emily's allowed to know about. Yes, yeah, so I've got... birthday on Saturday, I've got secret birthday gubbins. Also, I got a basil plant, but that's upstairs because we don't have light in the cellar when the lights aren't on. So, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, this is gonna be my little project. I'm gonna make sure that basil plant thrives. You so, shall not die! No. So watch this space. Right, I'm cracking on now. Right, back in the kitchen and I'm gonna make my omelette. I know I've said that about seven times today, but I'm actually doing it right now. So, I've got on this website and it's a lady that studied abroad in Spain and used the housekeeper of the family she stayed with recipe. So, basically, these are the ingredients. It's dead easy. It's olive oil, potatoes, onion, eggs, and crushed sea salt. Only difference is that with mine, I'm gonna add chorizo, ch uh, chorizo into it, or chorizo. Um, so I will just literally add it. Like I don't need to take away any of the, I would maybe just do a few less potatoes, but that's really it. Put um, chorizo in it and it will be lovely. So I'm just using the recipe as a basic guide of kind of like how deep to fill the oil in the pan because I've eaten this a lot of times, but I've never actually made it before. Right, I'm just peeling my spuds now. Um, <laughs> I'm going to chop my onion as well. So it's about four medium potato, three medium potatoes. I reckon them two together are about a medium potato. Who's with me? So that's what I'm doing now. Um, so I'm just going to put some music on and fast forward this bit. Uh, sorry slicing the potatoes using this little bit on my grater and it's really difficult like I've had to get a tea towel to help me grip it like honestly it's so hard to do it I, I still I'm just not doing it right but I mean they're getting sliced eventually it's just that um well really just a bit difficult but it's okay all is good I think it's because the potatoes are a little bit soft because they're not fresh Right, this is how much potato and onion I've got. So I've got a lot now, it's all done. Um, and I'm now going to fry it in the pan. Right, so my oil's warming up. I'm just having, one sec. Oh, just gotta open this now. Just having uh, my smoothie from Aldi. Oh, just a little bit of it. I had a few olives as well, but you know, um, you know when like you're supposed to eat, well, one of them things olives, aren't they, where you've got to eat them one at a time. I'll put like four in my mouth and, it was a bit much, a bit much, really. But that's okay. Oh yeah, they're all in the pan now. Love that. Um, I've put some salt in as well. Into there, and that's just gonna cook away now for about 10 minutes and I'll stir it every so often. Right, so these have been cooking now for about 10 minutes. Um, it's the tricks of the onion and the potato, and they're looking really good. They're done, it's cook until they're about fork tender. So, so I'm gonna do a taste test. You okay there, hun? And it says you can reuse the oil, so I'm gonna save the oil because it's got all the good chorizo taste in. Is it good? Beautiful. That's a slightly like it's like more. a chorizo flavored potato crisp. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, perfect! I can't wait. Lovely. Oh, it smells so good, guys. It smells like chorizo and really nice. Right. So now I'm gonna pour in because it's on a high heat. This mixture. And the summer feeling. Just let you know guys, it's doing wonderful in the pan. <laughs> breathe me in. Oh, breathe out. I don't know if I can ever go down. <laughs> Watermelon sugar high. Oh, we're putting it back in. Hang on baby, hang on. Turn now. the timer off. Oh no. Slide that back in there now. Oh, oh. Right, this is the bottom of the tortilla now. So what we do now is put the plate back on and flip it onto the plate because the, the top's supposed to be a little bit lighter and a little bit... So, um, you know how to do it, don't you? You need your own glove. Yeah. And flippy flippy. It's really heavy. Here it goes. It's really heavy, heavy for the flippy flippy. Oh yeah. 
That looks so nice, doesn't it? That looks amazing. Um, there you go, guys. Authentic Spanish omelette in the kitchen today. Cooking with Emily today, not baking with Emily, cooking with Emily. And I've smashed it. <laughs> so we're going to have this for tea with some baked olive bread, some olives. Maybe a bit of salad. And some salad, yeah. Healthy! Just, just uh, <laughs> enjoy. And you can eat this cold, you can eat it at room temperature, you can eat it cold. You can eat... <laughs> you said cold twice now. <laughs> you can eat it You can eat it double cold. <laughs> so it's really, it's really, really a versatile dish you can add stuff to it i've had a vegetable one before i've also had in spain one with goat's cheese and caramelized onion in which was so nice i think i'm going to end the vlog here guys we're going to do anything else today eat tortilla eat tortilla we're going to have a barbecue but we're not now because we've got tortilla we've got lots of tortilla to eat haven't we thank you so so much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed and see you tomorrow